Kia Venga presents itself as a compact hatchback featuring a capacious boot and a spacious user-friendly cabin that facilitates easy entry and exit. However, its appearance and ambience don't exude luxury and it offers only a single engine choice. Positioned as a roomy small vehicle, the Kia Venga boasts excellent visibility, economical operational costs and a commodious interior. It serves as an alternative to MPVs like the Hyundai iX20, Vauxhall Crossland X and Renault Capture. Nevertheless, the Kia Venga's somewhat awkward design detracts from its stylishness compared to its counterparts. Its prominent headlights and elevated roof create the impression of a hatchback standing on its toes. Notably absent are the attention-grabbing black plastic trims commonly found on other vehicles' bumpers and wheel arches. The interior doesn't uh, shine either, allow the Venga's generous doors and raised seats make ingress and egress effortless. While lacking in standard equipment for base models, mid-range Venga variants offer a 7-inch touchscreen with built-in GPS navigation and Bluetooth connectivity. Though functional, this system falls short of the intuitive interface found in the Vauxhall Crossland X. Nevertheless, the heating and ventilation controls are thoroughly arranged and, and conveniently accessible. The Kia Venga excels in providing ample interior space, especially when opting for the optional panoramic uh, glass roof. The sliding rear seats facilitate accommodating tall adults comfortably in the back. Kia Venga offers a 1.6-liter petrol engine with 123 horsepower. Cost of this car approx 12 to 20 thousand dollar, or a used one, 8 thousand. Okay, thanks for watching. What do you think about this car?